Hello, this will be a short and sweet guide to getting your own stat weights from SimCraft for use with the pawn add-on, or with use with any tool such as Ask Mr. Robot for making gearing decisions. First of all, you want to go to downloads.simulationcraft.org like I have. If you're going to for the first time, it's going to look like this. You want to sort it by last modified. You want to press that two times to get the latest version up here. This is going to be updated roughly once a day, and you should always really update it from here uh, whenever you're running stat weights um, uh, another time. I've already downloaded it, but it's going to be very simple. You're going to get a zip file, and you can extract it wherever you want. And after that, you can run simulationcraft.exe. You're going to be greeted with this window. From here, you want to go to the um, simulate. You want to create a new profile. Now, you want the simulation craft add-on in-game. You can get it from Curse, you can get it from WoW Interface probably, you can get it from wherever the hell you want. Once you're in-game and you have the add-on installed, you should do the slash sim c command in-game, which will give you this. This is similarly your profile for your character. It has your talents, it has your artifacts, it has your gear, and it will be imported with the standard um, default APL, which is the action priority list, which will determine what abilities simulation craft uses. Now, for marksmanship, you should generally sim with two targets because this is going to be representative of the average um, fight in Emerald Nightmare. And it's also going to be more representative of a Mythic Plus dungeon with lots of trash than uh, than a sim simple ah, single target sim will. Um, you should set world lag to whatever your latency is and you should generally keep your fight length at 450 seconds. Your iteration count should be at least 10,000 but ideally 25,000. Anything above that is kind of a waste of time as it's not really just diminishing returns on how much more accurate it's going to get. I'm gonna keep it at 1,000 for this particular example just because I'm trying to yeah, show you how it's done. Um, from here you want to go into the scaling options and you want to enable scaling and toggle all character stats. There's nothing else worth worrying about here so you can go back to the simulate tab and you're going to have your um, character profile here. From here you can press simulate in the bottom right corner and it's going to take a longer time than this will um, to generate your scale factors. Now, what you're going to be looking for, besides this warning that using less than 10,000 iterations may vary significantly from run to run, which is entirely true, and you should not run scale factors at 1,000 iterations confirmed. What you're looking for is this. It's basically going to show you, in very broad, loose terms, what the DPS per point of different stats is going to be from where you are right now. If you have lots of haste and very little crit, um, the general recommendation of mastery, haste, crit, versatility for marksmanship may actually be reversed for your specific gear level and you might see something like this, where crit is slightly above haste in this particular example. Sometimes you might see verse above crit and stuff like that if you have lots of crit. This is just how stats work because stats don't scale linearly and they scale relatively off each other. And if you have a lot of one stat, it's going to be worth less than other stats most likely. This doesn't happen as often for mastery because mastery is fucking overpowered. This pawn string um, you can simply import into the pawn add-on, which is basically something that um, will tell you in-game if something is an upgrade or not. Of course, I already have the best items of all types equipped, but um, if I take my panzer for a moment and um, mess over the item here, you can see that it's an upgrade. If um, you compare it to an item that you already have equipped, such as, you know, I could really use something from Savius, uh, I could, for example, find that these um, disjointed linkage leggings, um, the non best in slot kind of meh stats uh, on Mythic, is actually a, going to be a 3% upgrade for my marksmanship spec, which is pretty small, to be fair. Um, but another thing to remember is with the pawn results you're going to get is that on some items, a percentage upgrade is much bigger than others. And even with your own stat weights, you might find that a 5% upgrade on something like a ring or a neck will not always translate directly into a, a DPS upgrade. Often it will be around the same actually. Now, um, once you've gotten your pawn string from here, you just copy paste it, you go into pawn, you go to scale, and then you go to import, and then you simply paste the string in there. And it's going to be, as I've already done it before, uh, you're going to have your weights here, and that's going to appear in the tooltips of items that you are looking at. And this is basically, if you update this every time you get a new upgrade, it's going to be the most, the best compromise of conveniency and it's going to, um, and like ease of use. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time. Uh, it's pretty convenient and it's also going to be pretty damn accurate because it's based on your gear and it's based on 
the closest we can approximate to a um, real rating encounter. So that's the recommended way to go about stat weights. Sometimes they are not completely gospel, for, such as for beast mastery hunters. They're better for marksmanship hunters than beast mastery hunters because of some uh, fake haste break points. But if, for example, uh, haste shows above mastery for um, for beast mastery hunter, unless you have like seven times more mastery than you have uh, haste. It's probably not going to be true and you're going to want to manually edit the weights so that mastery is of a slight bit above haste. That was the short guide to uh, getting your own stat weights from SimCraft and uh, I'll see you guys another time.